Focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, or FSGS, is a disease of the kidneys. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs in our body that filter out toxic waste products and excess water from the blood and excrete them in urine. Now, inside each kidney, there are clusters of tiny blood vessels called glomeruli, which act like filters of the kidney that let extra water and the harmful wastes through into the urine, while keeping important things like red blood cells and proteins in the body. In FSGS, segments of the glomeruli, the filters, get damaged and scarred. As a result, harmful wastes build up in the blood. Furthermore, the damaged glomeruli start leaking out important proteins like albumin into the urine. Both problems can cause various adverse effects on the body. Now, in people with FSGS, the urine may turn foamy, which is due to the proteins lost within the urine, called proteinuria. The main protein lost in the urine is albumin, which normally helps water stay in the blood vessels. With less albumin in the blood, water starts leaking out of the blood vessels and into the tissues, causing puffiness or edema, mainly in the legs and face. Now, in response to low protein levels in the blood, the liver tries to compensate by releasing extra lipid molecules like cholesterol in the blood, causing hyperlipidemia, or high cholesterol. These excess lipid molecules also get through the damaged glomeruli and into the urine, causing lipiduria. In some cases, FSGS can progress to cause severe complications, such as declining kidney function and ultimately kidney failure. Now, the kidneys normally produce a hormone called erythropoietin, which is released into the blood and stimulates the bones to produce red blood cells. In kidney failure, there's a decreased production of this hormone and fewer red blood cells are made, leading to anemia. Since red blood cells carry the oxygen to our organs, anemia will lead to symptoms like abnormally pale skin or pallor, fatigue, and drowsiness. Now, there are many different causes for FSGS. If the disease occurs on its own, possibly due to genetics, we call it primary FSGS since it arises on its own. What happens is the cells that create the filter in the glomeruli are damaged, which allows some plasma proteins and lipids to leak out into the urine. Over time, some of these proteins and lipids get trapped and build up in the glomerulus. Eventually, this causes more damage, and segments of the nephron get replaced by scar tissue. If enough of the kidney is damaged, kidney failure will develop. If FSGS is caused by another disease, we call it secondary FSGS. These include kidney defects from birth or kidney reflux where the urine backs up into the kidney. Non-kidney causes include obesity, obstructive sleep apnea, conditions like sickle cell disease and HIV, and autoimmune diseases like lupus. Diagnosis is based on patient history and the signs and symptoms of the disease, like foamy appearance of the urine, puffiness of the face and legs, and signs of anemia like pallor. Some clinical tests, like urinalysis, can check the urine for elevated levels of protein or lipid. Blood tests can detect decreased red blood cells and protein as well as increased lipids. Additionally, kidney biopsy could show scarring and glassy appearance in part of the glomeruli, and this helps confirm the diagnosis. FSGS is usually treated with dietary salt restrictions and steroids, like glucocorticoids, to suppress the immune system. Blood pressure and cholesterol-lowering medications can also help. Lifestyle changes like healthier eating habits, vitamins, exercise, and smoking cessation are also encouraged. In secondary FSGS, treatment is mainly focused on treating the underlying disease or stopping the use of the medication or illicit drug that's causing the damage. Lastly, for relieving symptoms, diuretics are also used, which flushes out excess water from the circulation, and this helps in reducing the puffiness of the face and legs. All right, as a quick recap, FSGS is a disease which affects glomeruli, causing leakage of excess protein into the urine. This causes foamy urine, 
puffiness of the face and the legs, and, in some cases, low kidney function and even kidney failure. Diagnosis of FSGS is made with patient history, clinical tests, and a kidney biopsy. Treatments include medications like glucocorticoids, dietary restrictions, and supportive care with blood pressure medications and diuretics, or water pills.